Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video details the H248 Branch Gateway IP ARP Inspection Command working in conjunction with the published PSN 100029. This video will speak to the IP ARP inspection feature of the H248 Branch Gateway. This feature is part of the entire Branch Gateway product line except for the G700. The function of this feature is to prevent a denial of service attack known as ARP spoofing. ARP spoofing, using a high level description, permits an attacker to take over an IP address of an existing device and substitute its own MAC address to possibly receive destination packets for the real device. There are other methods the attacker can employ for a DOS attack and the URL shown provides a nice explanation that can be reviewed. Avaya security standards recommend that in order to prevent against gratuitous ARP attacks, ARP poisoning, ARP floods, Avaya products should not accept ARP replies that do not have a corresponding ARP request generated by that device. When the feature is enabled, the gateway will not accept an entry into its ARP cache unless it generates an ARP request and receives back a directed ARP reply from the device that owns the IP address. Avaya has issued a product support notice, PSN 100029, that addresses an interaction with the branch gateway IP ARP inspection feature. The feature could prevent an IP telephone from getting dial tone if the right circumstances occur. When a new IP telephone firmware load is implemented for distribution, the administrator could issue a telephone reset for a network region. All telephones in that network region would reset, download and implement the new firmware, and finally re-register to communication manager. During that process, the telephone would ask the DHCP server to renew its current IP address. However, it may get assigned another address. If it receives another address that was in use by another telephone that the gateway knows about, this particular circumstance is where the interaction with the IP ARP inspection feature would prevent dial tone to be given to the telephone. This is the classic case of ARP spoofing as a gateway has a known IP address with a different MAC associated with it. The PSN 10029 details the ways to overcome the interactions described. Using the Branch Gateway CLI, we'll look at the various methods the PSN describes to use to overcome this situation. I have logged into a G450 Branch Gateway running firmware version 3122.0 as shown by the command show image version. The IPR inspection feature is also in the 30.x load line of the 5.2.1 firmware. The first step is to identify if the ARP inspection feature is enabled in the running configuration. I have ran the show running config command and this seems to be a bit reverse intuitive, but the command no IP ARP inspection is not shown as this feature is on by default. If the command no IP ARP inspection was shown, the gateway would not be protected. Also, if the default value of ARP cache is still in place, that value will also not be shown in the running config. The default value is 14,400 seconds. To inspect the value, the command is ARP timeout. The two values noted, generally speaking, appear under the IP default gateway command in the running config. As shown on the screen under the IP default gateway entry, neither of those values are present, so both of the defaults are in place. The PSN details three ways to solve this issue. We will go through those now. The administrator can disable the ARP spoofing protection using the No IP ARP Inspection CLI command, which I have entered now. 
To store this command permanently, use the copy running config startup config command. As noted earlier, the feature is enabled by default. When ARP spoofing protection is disabled, the gateway will learn from gratuitous ARPs, and that gateway may be sensitive to gratuitous ARP denial of service attacks. Issuing the show running config command now shows the no IP ARP inspection in the running config. I have undone that command now with the IP ARP inspection command for the next option to be discussed. Administrators that would like to keep the ARP spoofing protection enabled can reduce the default 4 hour timeout of the ARP entries in the ARP cache to a few minutes. Using the CLI command ARP timeout followed by a value in seconds will enable the shorter timeout interval. Please note that in this case the ARP traffic generated by the gateway will be higher. Before entering the ARP timeout command, I am entering the command show IP ARP. And note in the far right column the time to live TTL value on the two devices marked as dynamic. I am now entering the ARP timeout 120 command, which sets the time to live value to 120 seconds. Re entering the show IP ARP command shows the two dynamic devices have their TTL set to zero. Re-entering the command a few times shows those two devices have been re-entered in the ARP cache with a new decrementing TTL value. Finally, if the DHCP server renews the same address to the device requesting it, IP ARP inspection will not be service impacting. It is expected that this procedure will need to be applied in a very low number of cases. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.